What's going on guys, Sand here and this video is going to be a tutorial to teach you guys how to monitor your system performance while you game. This includes all games except for the games that are on Windows Market. Strangely enough, the software that I use just doesn't support games that are from there. For some reason, I can't use any of the intuitive settings that they use, but it works for all Steam games, all Uplay games, all Origin games, so don't worry about those. You'll be fine if you're only playing Steam games anyways. So I just launched up Rocket League and keep your eye in the top left corner. I'm going to click a button and you're going to see something just pop up. Now, do you see that? That is the GPU temperature in 49 degrees, the usage and the clock speed, the me uh, GPU memory usage and uh, the CPU usage and temperature and the RAM usage. Now this stuff is very helpful, especially when you're a gamer like me. I try and test my system all the time. I check out the system performance whenever, but whenever I don't want it, I just click a button and it disappears again. Another feature I like is that most people probably already know about this. I can just click a button and get to see what frame rate my game is running at. So right now Rocket League is of course running at 60 frames per second because it's only about 27% usage. Okay, so I want to quickly show you guys how to exactly do this. I want to quickly exit Rocket League, open up Google Chrome or any web browser of your choice and type in MSI Afterburner. Now click on the first one. I would suggest you guys go for the regular one, none of the branded ones like the Gigabyte or the EVGA ones, just get the regular one just right here. I think this is, the second download is a beta download, the first one is a stable download, so I suggest you guys get the stable one. Download that, have it downloaded, I've already got it installed, so I'm actually going to cancel this download. Okay, so I've got that installed. While we're still here, I want to quickly download Fraps too. So type in Fraps, click on the first one, uh, click on download and you're going to find the download right here. Okay, so download that is only 2.2 megabyte. The other one was 36 megabyte, I believe. While you guys are installing MSI Afterburner, make sure you guys also install Driver Tuner Statistics Server while you're at it. Now, once you've installed those, you're going to have the icon in the tray. So you're going to have MSI Afterburner right there. You're going to have Fraps right there. So I want to open up uh, MSI Afterburner because that's the more interesting one. So once you've opened that, you're going to have your whole GPU usage scenario, everything. So you're going to see that my one is a GeForce GTX 970. Driver version is still on 365.19. I've got it all set up. So I've got all the graphs that I want it to display. The first thing you guys want to do is click on settings right here. And if your layout is different, just try and look for settings somewhere it might be a cogwheel click on settings go on to i believe it's on screen display click on that uh, actually first you'll have to go through monitoring so you have to go through the things that you want to display and can you see i've got uh, GPU temperature, GPU usage, core clock, memory clock, memory usage all ticked off as well as in OSD and in OSD means in on screen display that's what it stands for okay first of all you're going to have to click here if you want to actually have MSI Afterburner measure that and after that, you'll have to click on it and then um, click on this little checkbox over here, which says show in on screen display. And once you've clicked that, it's going to start showing it in the top left corner, just like I showed you earlier. Okay, once you've gone through all those and you found which one you want to monitor, uh, put in the right order that you want, by the way, as well. So that really helps too. And then click on on screen display tab up here. Now, the thing that I like is that I can control when the actual on-screen display comes on and off. I set that as number sub. So it's on my number pad on the far right corner and it's a subtraction button. And uh, show on-screen display, I don't think you actually need these. Uh, my one works, but I never really use this. I only used uh, toggle. So just, just alter this one. Next, you'd want to click on this setting. By the way, when you're installing MSI Afterburner, it's going to install another program called River Tuner. If you guys have already installed it, that's great, you can go on to the next step and if you haven't installed Riva Tuner, that means you'll have to go back and install it. Uh, so click on more over here, you click on more. Riva Tuner Statistics Server, this window will come up. Uh, it's uh, linked with uh, MSI After My Enemies, click uh, get rid of that. So first thing you wanna do, uh, you don't need to enable these things, for some reason it starts up anyways. Detection level, you can leave it at low. And uh, I suggest you put stealth mode on because um, previously I had an issue where none of my games would run and uh, I realized that it's actually because of stealth mode. If you enable it, all your games run perfectly. Okay, so you wanna enable stealth mode, uh, on-screen display support, uh, raster 3D, this is, what, this is the basically the font. It makes it look pretty nice. Uh, viewpoint instead of frame bu uh, frame butter you know click on is that frame butter or buffer okay whatever it is uh, on screen display shadow just to make it a bit more visible while you're gaming uh, this is the color uh, the color palette you can change this is the size and this is uh, show your own statistics the main reason why i'm asking you guys to open this program is to enable stealth mode so once you've enabled that it's perfect uh, you can move this around 
to wherever I feel like. Oh god, what was mine before? Mine was 4 1, I believe. So uh, leave it wherever you like. Now, once you've toggled all those, you'll have the on screen display wherever you like it. You can quickly toggle on and off. Next, I'm going to show you guys how to display the frame rate on screen while you're gaming. I don't know if you guys remember, but I installed Fraps earlier and we're going to launch that right now. Open up Fraps and the settings that I have is start Fraps minimized, Fraps window always on top, run Fraps when window starts, minimize to system tray only, and uh, that's the general settings. The FPS settings is where you want to be. Okay, I've got the benchmark hotkey because I actually do some benchmarks. So if you guys want to copy this, it basically uh, measures your FPS and minimum average, minimum, maximum and average frame rates and frame times if you like and stop benchmarks after two minutes. This is the important bit. Overlay hotkey. So I've set my own as F12. So every time I press F12, it's going to cycle between hidden overlay, uh, top left corner, top right corner, bottom left corner and bottom right corner and back to no overlay. So it's going to keep doing this. And uh, you can choose to update it only once a second. I actually like it uh, live. It changes continuously, like every few milliseconds, I believe. Uh, and the rest, uh, I don't think we need these. I don't even have these enabled. But yeah, that's how you... Uh, what is this? Exit fraps will stop concurring being shut down. Are you sure you want to... Okay. Um, I'm going to press cancel. I want to minimize. Sorry, minimize back to system tray. Don't exit out of it. I hope this video helped you guys. Now I guess you guys can start benchmarking some games. Now you can probably start monitoring how your system is doing. And by the way, if you guys see that any component in your system is being maxed out while you're gaming. So imagine if you're playing Black Ops 3, for example, and uh, your CPU or GPU is saying that it's at 99% load. That means something is being used up to the max. And maybe you're not getting the best performance you want. That means whatever is being maxed out, that's what's preventing you from getting the frame rate you desire. That's just a little tip. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. I hope this has helped you guys for the future. And leave me some suggestions of what videos to do next. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.